So we're in our car today. Going to smash Ben Emi, Ben Narnian. To our next day cobbler. Done the cobbler last year, so I might I might pop in the way back, depending how tired I am. Um, potentially, I don't know. See how it is. <sighs> Beautiful day. So there is There's a way you go to get onto the, the climb of Ben Larnane, I think. Obviously you go with the first one and on to the second one. But like the cobbler, the main path of cobbler, obviously you stick in the path, but to get to get to the other one, the one I'm doing, split off to the right at some point. What do you think this might be it? So I've literally just came to the gate. I think that's the way we're going to go. Potentially. So we're going to go this way. See what happens. Alright, so we've been climbing for probably about 10 minutes now. Um, we came to this dirt road and now if, if you were doing a cobbler you'd come, you kind of zigzag through these trees over there and then you'd pop out up that road somewhere and you sort of take a left and a right um, but today we've sort of, we've cut through those trees um, and I'm pretty sure we're going up there uh, there's Ben Loman you can see the top of up there. There's a lot long. It's just so still. But yeah, um, we're going up that way. I'm um, 70% sure. I guess we'll just go and find out. Again, these poles, absolute lifesaver. Maybe not here though. <laughs> this is almost like a dry river bed. Um, so. That's where we were. I saw you on the way up, just keep to the right. It's a sort of path. That's just up here, a bog. Where they got, if you caught my boots dirty. If you skip to the, keep the path. Um, it's a wee bit steep, but again, it's alright. Take your time, you'll be fine. I do think, if you're thinking of doing this the climb, definitely recommend um, investing in a pair of boots because there's just parts of it that it's very boggy, even even in good weather. You know what I mean? Because it's been nice weather all week. Um, it's just some points where it's just. It's like a bog, to be honest. Um, but we're just, just getting on a bit. Climbing some good height, still in the trees. Um, I 
it's a fairly gradual climb so far. So we've got to a bit of a clearing now. We're finally out the trees. And that's where we're going. There's a couple of people up there already. That is where we're headed. So there's quite a few of those flats on this climb. As I've found that uh, sort of you just come out the trees and you can zigzag, zigzag and come up down here. And that obviously zigzags up here. I've got a feeling that's the summit up there. It would make sense. This is just stunning. All right, I'm gonna crack on. I will see you in a bit. That's a cobbler. <laughs> Obviously to do the cobbler you'd come through that big valley and then you can either go always up the steep way up the front of it or in the back of it. The back way is more of a walk. There is somebody on top of that thread needle uh, <laughs> up that middle part. Do you want to go back and do that at some point? And in behind the cobbler is the rest and be thankful. So you sort of go along here and then obviously you go behind that. Yeah, that, that's a really good climb, it's just dead fun. Because you sort of go up in between the sort of middle part and sort of, it's like for you, you, you go up there, that's where you, you get to the summit. <coughs> and then obviously if you want to do a thread needle, you can do. It's so quiet up here. So I was getting a bit steeper here. I've came from over there and you walk over. It's a bit boggy around about that patch, so just just watch. Um looks like it gets a lot steeper. We're going up here to this sort of gorge. Um again just at the steep part, it's the best thing to do is take your time. The best thing to do is just wedge yourself between the two. 
purpose so that you're sort of pushing you're pushing off one side getting to the other side Watch your fitting, especially on these kind of climbs. Go up that way. Up. Hey, you probably could. Yeah, there's a path there. <laughs> you didn't actually come up. You didn't actually need to come up this part. So if you find it too tough, there is a faint path up here. I wish I'd have known that. <laughs> oh. I mean, we must be getting near a summit now, eh? So you dope. So, after that technical part, it still is pretty steep. A bit like what this is here. Easy enough though. If you just watch your footing. So many false summits on the side. These views are just insane though. Certainly been lucky with the weather. But I'm feeling that that must be the summit because there's snow. <sighs> Tell you what, there's a lot of false summits. It's ridiculous. <laughs>
There's a cobbler. Hey, this has to be summit, right? Looks a bit of a scramble. Could be good. All right, I will see you guys at the top. Okay, so that is where we're going. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the kind of clear path. Apparently it's not too difficult, so... Let's just crack on with it. There's a cobbler over there. So it does get a little bit technical how uh, you go up. You just take your time. Just focus. I know you're going. You'll be fine. Again, like I said, plan where you're going. Which I think is this way.
if like me you were used in walking poles stick them in your bag somehow for this part because you really need your hands Keep the breathing under control. Just gonna go this way. So we made it up that technical part, you just follow the path. That's where we're going now. So it's a bit more straightforward, it looks like there's a path. So we'll find out. Job done. That part that we came up, <coughs> very, very technical. Just a big sort of gully. But this time there's nothing to sort of push off of. You need to just get in your hands and knees, to be honest. Very technical. So obviously it's just sort of loose stones underneath you. It's a bit of a scramble. Definitely be careful. So that's us at the summit <coughs> of Ben Eme. Could be wrong, this might be Ben Narnian, I can't actually remember. But looking pretty good. <laughs> Thank you.
so initially the plan was to go and tackle Ben Ema as well, but the legs are starting to feeling it. So instead, I'm just going to walk back to a cobbler route down the valley. That's the way you go. Um, if you didn't want to do the technical side of the cobbler, you go around the back and you go up that way. That's the way we came down last year. It's, I don't know, it's just kind of some steps, pretty much. Um, but yeah, bit of a bummer, I can't do that, but it's just the legs aren't feeling it today. So I'm just going to head back down and I'll see you in a bit. Alright. So we're pretty much getting to the trees now. Um, like I said, it's just a path all the way down. Uh, once you go past the dam, little dam, then you're, you're hitting the trees in sort of 200 metres. One last look at the cobbler up there. That's where we were. Yeah, it's been a good one. Um, I'll probably just get you at the bottom, the car park. Um, Yeah, it's, there's nothing to really see from this point onwards. It's just hit the trees and it's sort of zigzag a lot of times, and you get the car park. That's pretty much it. But yeah, um, I will see you at the bottom. But yeah, it's been a good one. Um, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know where I can go next. And that was a good time that out because they do say that it's easily missed I didn't realize how immediate it was i'll definitely be back um obviously i want to spread the go on cobbler and when i'm up there i'll probably just go and smash ben ben Eme as well but yeah now i'm gonna call that a day i will see you guys in the next one all right, peace.